In a surprising turn of events on Wednesday, July 3rd, the second deputy speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Moyo, declared vacant the seats of nine members of parliament. These MPs had recently lost their case in the Constitutional Court, which challenged their expulsion by Mao Sampa. The decision has sparked significant controversy and backlash. In view of the fact that the members of parliament that were expelled had their petition dismissed by the Constitutional Court, the members were out of order to continue sitting in the House and take part in parliamentary business. Further, since there is currently no challenge of the expansion properly, uh, proper, uh, uh, properly before the court and the expansion having been effected in December 2023, I consider that a vacancy has occurred, has occurred in the following. Babashe, Kawamba, Lupososhi, Kafisa, Chitambo, Mpolokonso, Shuangandu, Chiruvi, and Lute Koswensa. I, there, I evoke powers vested in me in Article 72, 8 of the Constitution to write to the Electoral Commission of to the Electoral Commission informing it of the vacancies in the said constituencies effectively 27th June 2024. In view of the above order, in view of the above, above, I would advise Mr. Ara K. Chitotela MP, Mr. N. Chilangwa MP, Mr. M. Mpakata MP, Mr. Mr. C. Kangombe MP, Mr. Ara Mutare MP, Mr. B. M. Mduwile MP, Mr. S. Kangombe MP, Mr. Sorry, Mr. S. Kampiongo MP, and Mr. M. Fuwe MP, and Mr. Kafwaya. Leave the house. I thank you. Reacting to the declaration, Patriotic Front Chairperson for Legal Affairs, George Chisanga, called the decision illegal and vowed to challenge it in court. To notify the ECZ of the existence of the vacancy. This was pronounced in the case of Kambuili versus the Attorney General when Dr. Patrick Matibini was Speaker, when he purported to have expelled Honorable Kambuili from Parliament. Mr. Kambuili challenged that matter. It was before the courts of law, and the Constitutional Court gave guidance on the role of the Speaker under Constitutional Amendment Act No. 2 of 2016, where they said the responsibility of the Speaker in the current constitutional setting is merely that of a referee. You are only an arbiter. So what we have done as the Patriotic Front, the affected members of the party, and Secretary General I think is going to expand on that position, is that we have sought legal counsel and we are taking yet another legal challenge of this matter before the courts of law. Meanwhile, citizens faced President Harry Kalaba expressed shock and disbelief over the ruling. We have learned with shock and uh, disbelief the horrendous and inconsiderate ruling by the second speaker of the National Assembly, Mr. Moses Moyo, in which he has declared nine PF seats vacant. By implication, the nation will be facing by elections in the nine affected constituencies at the time when the country is facing a national disaster of hunger affecting six million Zambians. Long hours of countrywide load shedding and the spiraling high costs of living affecting every Zambian. As citizens first, we consider this ruling to be ill-timed, politically motivated and highly inconsiderate. In defense of the state, Clayson Hamasaka, chief communications specialist at State House, issued a statement distancing President Hichilema from the ongoing Patriotic Front leadership wrangles. He reiterated the president's commitment to the rule of law and his stance on by-elections. In a press statement, Mr. Clayson Hamasaka states that it has never been President Hichilema's interest to interfere in how other political parties conduct their business.
One of the strongest pillars of this president is his commitment to order the rule of law in the country. President Hichilema's views on by-elections are well known. He has repeatedly called on stakeholders to come on board and make recommendation, recommendations on how this issue can be addressed to avoid them and save resources. The situation remains tense as the legal and political battles unfold. We will keep you updated as more information becomes available. I am Anim Linga reporting.